everyone, I'm Trevor Marshall and we're in the Train Masters TV studio with Ed Wilson from NCE. Ed, you have a new product out uh, called the Light It Decoder. Why yes. don't you tell us a little bit about what this is and what it does? So we're very excited. This is a multifunction lighting decoder, uh, DC mode, uh, three DCC modes. We've got locomotive mode, accessory mode, and the big one, which is uh, signal mode. Okay. Can you give me a, just a quick overview of what each of those things are? I guess DC mode, as it implies, allows people to add some lighting control to a DC layout. Is that a correct? Way to put it? Correct. There are there are 15 lighting effects, and you can, as well as using a dimmer on the board, and then with the locomotive mode and the accessory mode, there is again the same 15 lighting effects. You can use an accessory address in accessory mode and in locomotive mode, you've also got locomotive addresses. And in either mode, you've also got on the board the ability to add uh, two capacitors for in case you have a, an issue with flicker, like in a caboose or something like that, or passenger car lighting, Okay. something Very like good. that. Very good. So you, you can do things like light passenger car lights, you can add a, uh, a beacon to a locomotive, yes. and you can do uh, scenic effects like uh, uh, lights on a vehicle or lights in a building. Stuff right. Like rotary, that. random flashes, uh, rotary beacons, uh, crossing gate lights, things like that. All right. And the, uh, the big one, though, is the signal mode. Now, this works in concert with other technology from NCE, other components. Correct. And allows you to actually drive the, the signal lights, is that? Yes, that is correct. So this is an NMRA compliant uh, DCC signal decoder, mm -hmm. okay? What it's looking for, it's looking for on the DCC track bus, is the, again, this is just two wires to the track bus. It's looking for the NMRA uh, signal commands coming out onto the track bus. And how you're gonna generate those is either with a computer and some software, or you're gonna generate them with the NCE mini panel. So why don't we show them how it works? You can have the honors. It's, All right. Uh, it's your baby, here All we right, go. here we go. So we're just about to hit the first block, and there it is. It'll take a couple of seconds for the signal to drop to red because you built a delay in so that people can see this for the, as a Correct. Watching. Correct. Uh, but that's adjustable, isn't it? Yes, right. You can adjust you can adjust the delay time in the mini panel. And you know, you it depends upon the transition of your blocks and the size of the blocks, you may want a small delay or a larger delay. Okay. So as we hit the second one, that turned red, the first one turned yellow. Now as we hit the fir the third one, that's turned red, the second one's yellow, and the first one that we hit is back to green. Right. And as we leave the block, we'll get a yellow, green, green across here. Yeah. Well, Ed, that is fantastic. I think this is going to add a lot to people's layouts. Absolutely. Uh, if you want to know more about the Light It Decoder, visit the NCE website. And Ed and I are going into several segments where we're going to be talking about all of the aspects. Aspects, I made a signal joke right there. Right. Uh, we're right. going to talk about all the aspects aspects of using the light at decoder for locomotives, accessories, and signaling on Trainmasters TV, so be sure to check that out. That's great.